Hello everyone, welcome to VBA Advanced. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a zip file. This is not the only way how to create a zip file, but this is how I do it. This is a simple trick. And we use a command and that command is this. So let's go to our Excel workbook and try to use this command. So here is the workbook. Let me get away from your view. Zoom it a bit. And let's go to VBA. Okay, let's insert a module. Here is our module. Here is our command. And before that, let's go and see our folder. So you can see I am in C and C in C drive. I have this temp folder. So the trick is first we need to have an empty zip file. So right click, new, create a compressed folder and let's call it empty point zip and let's have two text documents and this is first dot text and another document i hope you can see this very clearly new text and this is second okay so the trick is to use these files and create a new zip folder and put this first and second dot text in it so let's have our macro sub v zip creator so first of all what i need to do is i need to use this empty zip to create a new zip file for example file copy source file is c colon backslash temp backslash empty dot zip and copy it as c colon backslash temp backslash output dot zip right so this will uh, create a copy of empty zip file so uh, this uh, will keep intact my empty zip so i can use it uh, later on and I have a new zip file output.zip and let's copy this command and paste it here. Create object shell application this 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 and the thing is what it is saying is the, there are two variables this is target zip and add zip one. So my target zip what is my target zip? my target zip is you can see, ah, cannot see it sorry for that let me fix it first yeah now you can see it so my target is this output Point zip and I can use this instead of using the code I can use the variable here and then in this zip file that is v target zip I can add file one so what is this variable v add file one is equal to what this should be equal to what we have in our folder that was first dot txt first dot txt so let's copy this and edit it first dot txt and then we can have another file which is v at 2 and this should be second.txt 
second.txt. So I have these two files saved in a variable. Now first is copy and then add a file one and then add file two. But then there is another thing. You need to pause between these two commands, give it some time for the operating system to execute this command. Because if you are working on a heavy zip file with lots of files present or you are trying to compress a, um, compress a big file, it is always good to give the operating system some time. So we need to add some wait time here. Application dot wait. How to wait? Uh, it was uh, now plus time if I recall it correctly time value it was something like that zero colon zero colon say zero three it will add three seconds if I am correct and I think this is was under the inverted commas no there is an error one bracket missing Okay, let's see if it works. So this wait has to be after every adding of the file to the zip folder. Why, 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 why? Okay, inverted commas were missing. So let's try this and this is our folder and this is our code. I hope that Somehow you can see it. Let me zoom out then. Yeah, this is better. So let's run this code and see if it is work if this works. So first it is just reading the variables. Now this is the first execution command. And you can see here it is output.zip. And then let's add file one. I hope this is added and let's wait. One, two, and three. It is back. Let's second add second file and let's wait again. And now go and open this output.zip. So double click and here we have first dot text, second dot test, output.zip in the output.zip. So this is how you can create a zip file or I do it. If you want to follow this, you are most welcome to do it. I hope you have learned a new trick today and this was, this will be helpful. I will leave this command. I will leave this command uh, in the description and remember, and remember to use this command. You need to have what you need to have. Microsoft Office Object Library enabled. If you, unless you enable this Microsoft Office Library, you will not be able to use it. So, if you like this trick, think about giving me a, giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave in the comments.